The following video is not intended to cause any offence or disrespect. I am putting my thoughts into words on camera and was very moved by everything I saw and would never dishonour any soldier who would give his or her life for their comrades. Hey guys, it's Anton something, just vlogging about a Battlefields tour I'm doing with my school. Basically, I go to France and we look at some Battlefield sites and things related to World War One, basically, in France and Belgium. Okay guys, this is Essex Farm Cemetery. I'm not sure quite if the camera can see it because I don't have a screen in front. But basically, this was our military hospital cemetery, so if you died in treatment, they'd send you, they'd bury you here. I don't know if the bodies are here or not, so, uh, but the youngest person who was here was actually 14 years old, so that's quite sad. And I'm sorry if my voice is pretty quiet because I'm right next to a road, still very atmospheric. So this guy, he's uh, Jewish, if you can see the star. I'm not that good on Hebrew anymore. I used to be quite good at it, but I believe it says Tnab. Oh, I don't know, don't ask me, I've forgotten all my Hebrew. This is just a roadside cemetery, but it's still quite, quite big. Look at it, it's massive. I mean, you can see people walking around, but it's a massive roadside cemetery. Just just roadside, because there's a road motorway. It's absolutely massive. Let's go subscribe to Hello Matt. Yeah, there's Hello Man, just walk in front of the camera. Um, this is the um, largest part of the cemetery. It's a monument to the West Riding Division, which is, we've seen more horse people who ride around. <laughs> so here they have like bunkers and things. I think this is actually the side of the bunker in between the bunkers, but they've got a thing and they just left here. I'm not sure if these were actually used or not, or they're just memorial, but I think they are because I can't read whatever language they speak in Belgium. I'm so racially knowledgeable. And this is the 15 year old soldier. This is a grave. No, we can eat it. Put that inside that and fire it. Yeah, yeah. Does that take a good word? Look at that awesome shotgun pistol. Well, here I am in a recreated uh, trench. And they're actually quite short because. Um, you can see my head, I'll keep the camera on the same level. You're over the trench, so if I go around here... Well, they're obviously twisted so that the um, actual shock of the shell would get dissipated. So, if I manage to make it all the way through all these zigzags, you get to a bunker, and they are tiny. I mean, seriously tiny, look at this. I've not gone in here yet. And it's too dark, I'm sorry guys, there's no light. Okay, I've turned on the flashlight and it's just a bunker. Okay guys, going into the tunnel. This is a trench tunnel, I believe, whoa. Jeez, so easy to trick, fuck. Just me. Yeah. Onwards. <laughs> Through the selfie van. In the tunnel. Don't know how much of that you saw. There were some guts taking selfie. Oh, torch bearers. Torch bearers. <laughs> Going right. Oh no, more torch bearers. You've ruined the ambience. I obviously took a branch off, the other one would have taken me back out. God, this is quite creepy. You don't know what's coming. And soldiers had to do this all the time, I think. Maybe this was secret where they were going to blow up the trench. Shit. Jeez. This is a scary part. Yes, daylight. Yeah. Oh! Hi, I'm 
<laughs> okay, so I believe I started over there. Do you think Not sure, you can see a sign. Okay, just <laughs> it's not the Museum of Ypres, which Subscribe is... Subscribe to Hello Man, by the way, it's linked in the description. Yeah, Hello Man's here as well, as you know. Uh, what? So, yeah, I've just been to the Museum of Ypres, and it's very moving with an interactive system. You look like it's been in here in horrible weather. Okay, at the Menin Gate, about to hear the last post. I'm not sure if we can film it or not, so I'm not going to bother, but... So yeah. So we're back to where we were this afternoon, where we went to the museum. Yeah. Yep. So basically the last post is just bugle playing and they've done it apparently every night except for in World War Two. So it's pretty traditional and I mean they've blocked it off so they can do it. So it's serious. So yeah. Inside the Menin Gate. Working looking around. It's got so many names of people whose graves aren't found but they know that they were lost. I mean, I yeah. love and here's Hello Man. No, take a picture. Oh, hello! Hello, everybody. It's Hello Man. It's like, hello, what? As you see, we're taking part uh, in watching this absolutely, um, well, solemn, yes, at least once in a lifetime opportunity to watch something else. And you've turned it off, haven't you? No, I haven't, actually. I've already heard you clear. Okay, I've been to the last post. Very moving, even though very short, but it's been going on for several years, so I still think it's very good. I mean, if you're in Belgium and you're near the gate, you should watch it, definitely. Okay, I'm at the Somme now, and one of the biggest bomb craters that they mined under the German um, command centers, main centers, and it's a massive bomb crater. It's absolutely massive. I mean, look at this. It's that big. Look, there are some people of uh, uh, that that big compared to it. Yeah, some more people in the Hello Man. Okay, I'm at the Fievval Memorial to the Missing of the Somme. It's basically another thing like the Men Gate. Uh, it's the people whose graves haven't been found. Basically, a massive monument to that. And here it is. It's at the Somme again biggest failure. So yeah, I'm here at the memorial. I'm just gonna walk over there now. Just walking towards the imposingness of it. Just gonna zoom in for effect. So I've stepped back out. As you probably noticed, they're doing works inside there. I'm not sure exactly what they're doing. Probably renovating it or something similar. But so yeah, it's just ridiculous the amount of names there are millions. I just realized I put the camera close to my face, sorry. But there are millions of names, actually thousands I think, but it looks like millions because there are so many. 
it's just it's, uh, why and it's the biggest military failure I think I mean it was supposed to work but 20,000 people died on the first day so now I'm on the other side of it and so you can probably see behind me that there's a graveyard here. big graveyard for people who have graves I guess The rain and deer for the Newfoundland Regiment. There's a fair bit to see, but. Over the gun wall. Gun wall. Thanks to the aliens. And in. Guys, keep your heads down. You'll get your heads taken off. You'll get your heads shot off. Subway, so as I said, it's to move the men forward, so the men wouldn't have been here for long periods of time. Um, this is a German trench. <laughs> With hello, man. So this was a mainly Canadian base, so lots of Canadians died, so there's a Canadian flag over. Of hello, man, if you can see it, I don't know. <laughs> Going into the German pillbox. Tiny, though, look at it. Tiny. Like crouching that much. I'm trying. And there's Hello Man with his camera. And up top, I get Hello Man to go inside. It's tiny, actually, on the ground level. Come on. Come on, go in. It's a small entrance. And there he is. Uh, I can't see. Uh, oh, and he's got Canadian monument. At Vimy, I think. Maybe it's called Vimy, I'm not sure. And I'm here. Basically, it's another monument to graveless Canadians this time. I'm here, lots of names, people who haven't been found or are lying in pieces somewhere. It's quite sad. The star. Is the manliest camera I've ever seen. Still big, can see it from here. So yeah, as you can see, it's a German cemetery now, and it's a lot simpler. The Belgians really didn't want to give up land, so there are mass graves here. They're just all buried in massive pits. Look at so many just flat stones. That's all they get because they're German. Look. No words, really.
Look, there are about eight people in there. And there are these stones which have so many names on them. I mean, look. And there are like four, six, eight, loads of these stones. Yeah, there are apparently 25,000 people buried here, and it's a mass grave. They're all written around. Okay, this is Tynecott Cemetery, which is the biggest British military cemetery. And I mean, look at this, it's massive, massive. So many different graves.